Now, for the people that, that remember you guys, a lot of people remember you guys by one hand symbol. Sack! Like that. He came up with it. No, he did the hand gesture. He did the hand gesture. He did the name. He called him Sack. So explain this whole thing. It all comes from behind the walls of a prison. It's, he used to work for a prison. He heard somebody call somebody a sack. Dwayne came to practice one day. He called him a sack. Then he came up with the hand gesture for sack. And now we just say it for shit. Okay. E the the explain the hand gesture. Where'd it come from, brother? Sack. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. If you got, like, you know, more marbles. Mobbles. So is that, that's kind of like your version of a hockey chant. Yeah, it, it doesn't really make any sense. It's just doing it. It's just doing it. Like, watch this. Watch this. It, it's easier than trying to get them to do the wave. See, they're not doing it. They're not doing it. They were doing it. They're not doing it. It's, it sucks. There you go. There you go. We got a sack. See? We got it. Now, gentlemen, give me the website so people can check this out. www.gulchworks.com or www.brianabanks.com. No, no, that's, that's <laughs> the one we go to. When Gulchworks.com, MySpace slash Gulch. Hey, we're on Facebook, too. I don't know the address. Go to Facebook. Nobody knows their address to Facebook. They make it so fucking hard. Yes, they do. <laughs> but it's like... But it's there, and we're on a bunch of others. But go to gulchworks.com or myspace slash gulch, and that'll get you everywhere else. Okay, two two final questions, and these are the odd questions. If you were a dildo, what would you be named? Wilbur. King Midas. Sirloin. If you were a dildo, what would you be named? Purple. <laughs> okay, and finally, the odd oddball question. Would you rather fight like Mike Tyson or talk like him? I'd rather talk like Mike Tyson. I think it would be great. It depends on whether Robin Givens is involved. I would like to fight like him. <laughs> fight like Mike Tyson or talk like Mike Tyson? You didn't Just go for hold both. It. Hold it. You didn't say fight like Mike Tyson. No, no. <laughs> fight like Mike Tyson or talk like Mike Tyson? Both. 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 There's no e either or. It's both. He doesn't get any gray area. He doesn't understand that whole thing. You want down fight? You think I didn't get a tattoo around your eye? <laughs> Man, you you can't let him get away with that. I can't, can I? But you got a cool hat, and I'm a pussy. So, <laughs> bring the cool hat. Bring the Mexican hat in, Dean. Put the Mexican hat on. Put the Mexican hat on, Dean. I didn't think it's you know a, that. <laughs> Watch out, dude. He's a great hat. <laughs> okay. One more. One final, final question. Who will put the hat on and do a dance? Well, one of you guys put it on and do a dance. Jump in there, brother. Get him dancing. Do a dance, Dean. some dancing. I want a pole. <laughs> Give you a pole and you'll do some real dancing. Yeah. What the Mexican hat on that holds one. That's right. That's right. You know, they should do this in a strip club. I'd pay more money. I'd tip Jezebels? You think they ought to wear that Jezebel? This? You get more for the... Your face. Last time we were at Jezebels, he got beat up by a girl. It was awesome. Was her name Lauren? <laughs> I don't know, but... She gave an amazing lap dance afterwards, and the welts only took about three weeks to heal. My co-host, Cousin Chris, went out to Jezebel's, and Lauren just jammed her ass in his face. He thought he got his nose broke. Did he go, <laughs> yes, I think he did. Well, gentlemen, thank you for doing this. I appreciate it. And, uh, gentlemen, this has been fun. I've, I've enjoyed it. And uh, let's go watch a performer on Jiggy Jake TV.